Hey boys and girls, today I'm going to show you how to create a composition inspired by a couple different artists. Um, two of them, Sonia Delaunay and Robert Delaunay, who are a married couple who in 1912 kind of coined the term Orpism um, around the type of art they were making, which included lots of simple shapes, circles, squares, triangles, diamonds, like basically your geometrics and how they kind of created harmony with them through coloring and shading. And um, it's kind of a variation of a cubism that where the cubists were taking more or less subjects, people, still life, and breaking them up into simple shapes. Um, this one's a little bit brighter and is a little more focused on just the elements of art, just the shapes and the colors um, and the shading with that. So here is a couple of um, works of art here that are good examples. Um, some works from the Delaunay's. And here's another one that is Sonia Delaunay, original, where you see um, the circles, like repeated circles, repeated type of elements, but then the bold colors um, put together. We're gonna be doing this with colored pencil and doing a little bit more of this kind of effect where we're doing some lights and darks um, but also we're adding in the artist Monty Montgomery. He's a current artist who's kind of cool and hip. He does a lot of murals um, in San Diego, California, I believe. And um, same kind of thoughts in terms of he breaks up his shapes or his spaces with lots of shapes, lots of harsher shapes, like lots of straight lines, triangles, kind of diamonds, a lot of... Um, uh, Kind of the you've got yourself the checkerboard kind of look too just thought he'd be a nice adder like if you were not as into the softer shapes this would be a good um, artist to kind of be inspired by i'm going to start by um, starting with a ruler and i'm going to create a line i'm going to kind of go a little bit inspired by both artists i'm going to draw a line across here and right now i'm just focusing on the composition part I'm gonna take a circle, and I always like how Sonia Delaunay kind of broke things up in um, half circles. She'd do a half circle in one spot, and then it looked like she slid it down and kind of did another half circle on the other side. I always like that look. And if you want to break it up a little bit more, you can take another circle that's smaller, kind of make sure you looks like you are got it spaced well and I'm gonna add another ring here, another ring here too. And I always like how a CD disc does, has that kind of like rainbowy kind of reflection. I'm not sure you can see it here, but that always is inspiring to me. I might have to use that a little bit, that way that the rainbow kind of breaks out into um, lines going this direction. Uh, I might use that a little bit in my composition. This one, I'm gonna put this in here, but I'm gonna actually do the other side here. And I don't think I'm gonna do it over there. I think I'm gonna wait. And now I'm going to kind of do a little Monty Montgomery where I have this line here and he would do some repeated lines. I'm gonna make the lines behind my circles though. Um, he would kind of make that like, like uh, like a light that's shining and it's spreading kind of look and that always gives you a sense a little bit especially when you layer things of space where it doesn't right now because I haven't really colored it but when you have something layered like so I have those lines behind this and um, behind this one that will all that will start contributing to a little bit of that and then I might even make this kind of go this direction too. I might do that effect. Let's see, yeah, I think I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna kind of run into where I have his lines. I'm going to repeat that, although I was gonna go this direction, I think. And I like to have three shapes. A lot of times that's four lines for three like uh, three um, lines. So I, get, I feel like I'm seeing it, feeling it a little bit. Uh, let's see, I might add a couple more shapes to this. I might even just add a floating shape on top here. 
and you don't have to overdo it um, but I do want to get myself kind of uh, some visual balance here. I'm going to have this shape going off the page and I might do a small one going off the page here. over here and then I kind of also like how he would do sometimes the um, the uh, I kind of do this here um, he would do a checkerboard so oops kind of move, move that a little bit I think I'm gonna do a checkerboard in this area back here now my ruler is kind of nice because it's transparent I'm gonna line it up with the side of my paper here I'm gonna draw a straight line here until I run into that. And then I'm going to slide my ruler over and I have this dark red line that shows where the inch divides this. I'm gonna put line it up on that line I just drew, that dark red line, and then I can kind of draw on either side. I'm gonna have one inch now lines. That's one thing I really love about transparent rulers. A lot of times you can kind of use your same line. I'm just going to fill this space. And that might be it. And now I'm going to go this direction. So again, I'm going to use these dark red lines going this direction to kind of keep my um, myself square in terms of getting this lined up. So use this and this. Oops. And I'm going to slide down here and line up on here again. I'm going to do, I think I will add that spot there. And then slide up here. I'm going to need one here. All right. And I think that's kind of it. I might even just leave it a couple long spaces here, kind of leave this kind of interesting spot there. I may, hmm, I don't know. I do want to do that kind of what I was talking about, like having a, um, the center point here, possibly that is about a six inch. So I'm going to make a little mark here, three inches, um, for my circle. I'm going to do a couple kind of like, um, lines that are not necessarily consistent in terms of balance like they're not going to be perfectly even I might even make a really skinny one it's just going to add a little variety to my drawing same thing here I'm going to add to this one three inches since it's a six inch circle and then this can give me that kind of like I love that reflection that happens on CDs do something a little different with this as I color it. Make it a little interesting, a little unexpected. Yeah, I like that. I think that's it. So I'm going to um, stop for now and you have to watch part two to see how I'm going to add color to this. Can't wait to see how you draw yours.